Hi Roger, how are you? Nice to meet you. Uh, welcome to Kelly Castle. Thank you. Uh, I'm the manager here and I'm, it's my pleasure to show you around today. I understand you want to do a bit of uh, cooking here. Okay, before we start, would you like to have a look around the castle? Yes. Okay, just know. follow me then. Well, Kelly Castle is situated in what we call the East Nuke or the East Corner of Fife. That's a, a little part of Scotland just south of St Andrews that probably people have heard of. Originally the castle was a single tower house, so it was just a tower house on its own, and then it was extended over 200 odd years, up until about the 16th century. Okay, Saranj, I hope you enjoyed the visit around the castle. I love the paintings, the ceiling, uh, so artistic. Fantastic. I want you to meet uh, Diane, who's uh, our, Hi, one, Diane. Of our nice one of our gardening you. team. Pleasure, here. pleasure. Uh, Diane's going to show you around the garden, some of the produce that we grow here, and then hopefully we're going to see you cook some of it. I not only get to visit the herb garden with Diane, but I get to cook. Absolutely, yeah. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Diane already has a few ideas she's thought of. So thank you so much, okay, Roger. You're very welcome. Very um, nice to meet you. Well, we, have, we grow a, a variety of vegetables. We're known for rhubarb, so uh, we have around 25 varieties of edible rhubarb. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, Diane, if you don't mind, um, should we take a walk in the garden? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. So, Diane, quite a lovely herb and vegetable garden you have here. What kind of veggies uh, suit this climate the most? It's quite surprising what we can grow in this climate. Hmm. Um, a lot of things we can we can grow as long as they've got a little bit of cover, a little bit of heat. Um, we have a uh, peach at Kelly, which is grown under glass. These are yellow tomatoes, like yellow cherry tomatoes almost. Yellow, uh, yellow cherry tomatoes, yep, yeah, full flavour, really bursting flavour. And we grow those, hmm. uh, like I say, in the polytunnel. This little fella here cut is called a cucumelon. And it's a cross between a cucumber and a melon. They're Cuckoo melon. <laughs> yeah. We grow a lot of um, flowers for companion planting because we are organic and we don't use any sprays. But a lot of the flowers that we use are also edible, like wow. this calendula. Calendula. They're almost like marigold. That's exactly. They're called the, the field marigold or the pot marigold. And the, the petals are edible. Mm. Yeah. Smells beautiful. Apples. Yep. Okay. At Kelly, we have in the garden, we have about 25 different varieties of apple. And wow. this one, um, I think it's going to be really good in your recipe. It's Lord Derby. It's, it's a cooking apple? It's a cooking apple and it's quite firm, um, not too tart, uh, but a little bit of sharpness. Hmm. So we're going to use this in our recipe. I have some great crab from, from morning that are from the fishing village. So let me see what can I actually churn out of these ingredients. Sure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Welcome to the Spice Traveller and your spicy chef is going to make a spicy crab dish. Well this one, I'm thinking we're going to name it the Fife Crab because we are in Fife and we're going to prepare a crab which is locally produced which we got from the fisherman's larder and give it a small Indian twist. So let's quickly start the recipe. First of all, you need to slice some apples. Cut it. Great. So our canopy bases are ready. Now what we are going to quickly do is add a bit of pepper to this. That's about it. A small pinch of coriander powder. A bit of olive oil like literally half a teaspoon. So what we are going to do is, we are going to marinate the apples with pepper, coriander powder and olive oil. After this is done, the tomatoes are beautiful, they look juicy, they are yellow in colour. Uh, so we are not going to do much with it, just gently slice it into half. Cuckoo melons, cucumber and melon. 
So I'm just going to chop them into bite-sized pieces. Electrical daisies and these daisies as we already saw are really electric. So I'm going to just chop them up like that. After doing this prep, all we have to do is we need to make a small sauce. So first we'll add some dried fenugreek leaves or as we call them aka Kasuri methi. So I'll keep it on low flame on the other gas. While our fenugreek leaves are roasting, let's make the sauce. 50 grams of butter and olive oil. We let it melt. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of mustard seeds to hot butter and olive oil. After mustard seeds start popping, you add green chilies. And you remove it from the uh, remove it from the range. Now you can use the same pan to grill apples. Then you turn them. Brown color. This is it. These are done. So now our sauce is ready. We have a crab meat. So let's make the top of the canapé the whole content of this dish. So first let me add a bit of tomatoes. A bit of cuckoo melons. It's time for the crab. Now we add this crab to our yellow tomatoes and cuckoo melons. Give it a quick stir. We ro dry roasted our kasuri methi on the pan. Take some of it in your palm and you have to. You sprinkle it on the crab. Give it a stir. And now we're going to add our butter, chili, mustard seed dressing to this. Now what we have to do is take this apple slice, a bit of the brown crab pate on it. And then you top it with our crab salad final touches our five crab canapes are absolutely ready welcome to the five traveler you heard me right the five traveler well this is the result of all my learnings from this trip as you can see i've used a lot of local produce here um, there's crab meat in here. I've used a lot of herbs and veggies from Kelly Castle. Well, why don't we invite Roger to come here and taste it with us? Roger. Thank you very much indeed. It was fantastic. Well, Thank you. Wow. My first question was going to be, how does it look? <laughs> well, look, sorry. Well, it just looks amazing. So, Roger, the do you want to... The colour and the texture, wonderful. Do you want to dig in? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? A mouthful. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a burst of flavors mm. that. Mm. Thank you, thank you, Roger. So, mm. thanks, Roger, for having us at the Kelly Castle. It's been a pleasure. What a beautiful castle you have here. The garden is fabulous. And if I get a chance to come back to Fife, would love to pay a visit to you again. <laughs>